Hi everybody, welcome to another video in Recalculus section 6.7 Product to sum and sum to product formulas So in this section, we only have two set of formulas The first one from the product to the sum and the second one uh, from the sum to a product I don't recommend you to memorize all of this uh, What is worth memorizing is the sine cosine of a sum of difference meaning meaning this uh, let's say we start with sine for example of a sum yeah this formula is more difficult to prove than the other once we know once we know this formula we can derive almost everything including double angle half angle power reducing and here we derive the product to sum from this formulas All right side of a plus b is sine a cosine b cosine a sine b and then we write the sign of a difference sine a cosine b subtract cosine a sine b and all we do is if we add side by side cosine a sine b cosine a sine b cancel out uh, so on the left hand side we have sine of a plus b plus sine of a minus b those cancel out uh, but those terms combined uh, so we have two sine a cosine b and if we want to prove cos uh, sine a cosine b just divide by two on both sides divide two on both sides we have uh, sine a cosine b equal to uh, divide by two so we have one half on the other side sine of a plus b plus sine of a minus b of course what we prove here is this identity All right so it's very easy uh, similarly we can prove the other two we start writing uh, the cosine of a minus b and cosine of a plus b and then add them and then simplify and this we write cosine of a minus b, then cosine of a plus b, and then subtract them. Our show bottom line is we start with the sine or the cosine of a sum or difference. Either uh, cancel the first term or cancel the second term, and then we will have the product. And the other side will be a sum. So simple enough, very straightforward. Uh, that's why I mentioned earlier, just need to memorize just know uh, the sum and the difference identity then we can derive the rest of the formulas right now for the application is pretty simple uh, psi and a psi so we're going to use that it's going to be one half sign of a difference plus sign of a sum straightforward that give us one half sine of 5 theta and sine I don't know how I f5 sorry let's be 2 theta uh, plus sine of 10 theta Then cosine times cosine is one half cosine of three theta minus theta uh, add cosine of three theta plus theta. Yeah, very straightforward from the formula. Yeah, 
and then we just have cosine of 2 tena and cosine of 4 tena So, like I said, pretty straightforward. Right. Now, so that is a product to sum. Now we go to a sum to product. And then, if you pay attention, all of a sudden, why we go from U, V, go to U and V instead of A and B. Well, did that for purpose. Now, notice that product to sum, sum to product kind of like from one side to the other, right? So now, if we have this as A and this as B, then we will have 2 sine A cosine B. Of course, 2 sine A cosine B is equal to this sine of A plus B and sine of A minus B, right? That is from a product to sum. Right. Now, let's A, B, uh, U plus V over 2 and B, U minus V over 2. So, I'll start. A is equal to U plus V divided by 2. Right. And then B. is u minus v over 2. Right. So that's where we start. Now, after we write that out, uh, what is a plus b? And what will be a minus b? Well, I uh, we split this out, u over 2, v over 2. Now, if we add a plus b, we will have u over 2 plus v over 2 plus u over 2 minus v over 2. Of course, the v over 2 cancel out u over 2 and u over 2. Half a u plus half a u uh, give us u. Uh, likewise, a minus b, u over 2 plus v over 2. Subtract u over 2 minus v over 2. Uh, u over 2 and u over 2 will cancel out. v over 2 minus a negative v over 2. So that gives us v. Right? So a plus b is u and a minus b is v. Right. So we have that. And now the proof will be very simple. I will start with, uh, let's say, a product to sum. Let's say this one, right? The one that we wrote earlier. Sin A cosine B equal to 1 half. Uh, sin of A minus B plus sine of A plus B. Right? That is the product uh, to sum. Right? All we need to do is multiply the 2 on the other side. So 2 sine A cosine B will be equal to sine of A minus B Less sign of A plus B. Right? The product to sum. And then it's easy. 2 sine uh, A is U plus V over 2. And cosine uh, B U minus V over 2. equal to sine A minus B is V 
a plus b is u. Because what we just proved is this identity. Right? I just need to write back with sine of u plus sine of v is 2 times sine of u plus v over 2 and cosine of u minus v over 2. Uh, so most of the identities here, uh, if we change the angle and look at a different way, uh, those are the same. Right, like I said, uh, the formula is that worth memorizing because that's difficult to prove is the sum and the different identities. Once we know those, we can derive uh, every others. Uh, we can derive others formulas. Right. Now see how it works. Uh, it's with this couple of sample. Uh, sine of six theta and psi. Psi plus psi is going to be two times psi of six theta plus two theta divided by two. And then cosine six theta minus two theta divided by two. Right. So that's uh, the first formula that I use there. So 2 sine uh, 6 plus 2 is 8 divided by 2 is 4 theta. Cosine uh, 4 theta divided by 2 is 2 theta. Right. Uh, next we have cosine minus cosine will be minus 2 sine of 7 theta plus 2 theta divided by 2 and sine 7 theta minus 2 theta divided by 2 right so uh, formulas here that formula so negative 2 sine of sum of the angle divided by 2 uh, then, then times sine the difference of the two angles divided by 2. Uh, so we have negative 2 uh, sine of 9 theta divided by 2 and then sine that gives us 5 theta over 2. Right. Uh, so I just want to go over a couple of samples here uh, because the point of this section is uh, how do we link uh, the sum and the product together and of course we can go from one side to the other easily and the proof of that uh, we start from the sum and the difference identity and that's what i want to cover that's all i want to cover in this section as always thank you for watching and see you in another video in pre-calculus